Hey there, my name is Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life. In this video, I'm going to take you to one of the most popular hikes in the state of Virginia, White Oak Falls Trail in Shenandoah National Park. It's located just off Skyline Drive across from Skyland Resort at milepost 42.6. If you have the strength and endurance, you can enjoy six waterfalls with heights from 35 to 86 feet on this amazing Virginia mountain trail. Today, we're hiking to Upper Falls, the highest waterfalls on White Oak Falls Trail. This is about a five-mile hike, give or take, but it's it's very steep and very rocky. And this trail isn't all about waterfalls. There are giant boulders as you approach the stream and amazing beautiful blooms this time of year. This hike and Dark Hollow Falls are probably two of the most popular trails in all of Shenandoah National Park. Since this trail is close to Skyland Resort, it appeals to a lot of people. In the summer, you can expect it to be crowded. After all, people from all over the world come to Shenandoah National Park to escape the heat and appreciate some amazing mountain scenery. Let me tell you about something I added to my backpack this summer that you might be interested in. At the bottom of these falls along the trail, there are wading and unofficial swimming areas. That's another reason why so many people love White Oak Falls Trail or White Oak Canyon. It's a lot of fun to play around the water, but let's just face it. If you're wearing good hiking boots, you might not want to get them soaking wet. I've been faced with this dilemma several times. So when Seekway asked me to review their water shoes, I was interested because this water shoe solves a lot of issues for my outdoor adventures, and I think you might be interested as well. Here's what I've learned about Seekway's water shoes. These water shoes are light, airy, elastic, and flexible. They can be used when you're hiking in situations like this when you're wanting to play around in the water but you don't want to get your hiking boots wet. Now don't get me wrong, they're not going to replace your hiking boots, but it's nice to have a pair of water shoes in your backpack for moments like this. They're very light and they dry quickly. They're great water shoes for kayaking, canoeing, and boating. These are the kind of shoes you could wear on a cruise ship or a day at the beach. Don't make fun of my white legs. You can wear them fishing or paddle boarding. Seekway water shoes have a good grip on the bottom and wraps all the way around to prevent rock sand and debris from getting in. I like the fact that they're adjustable because when you've been hiking, that's important. Always bring a beach towel. Two is better, but always bring one. So check this out. I've left a link in the description. When you click on the link, you'll be offered the exclusive discount that's only available through this channel. Just use the discount code Bill Marion, spelled just like this. Give them a try and let me know what you think. I've been wanting to do White Oak Canyon Trail for a long time. Last year I was supposed to do it in the fall, didn't get around to it. And so here I am in the early summer, late spring 2022, amazing day. It is only 64 degrees. This is after a week of blistering temperatures down in the valley. There's a 10 degree difference between the valley and where I'm at right now on this amazing trail. Up here, it's more like mid spring. Things are in bloom and it's just a beautiful day to be out here.
When it comes to hiking, this section of Shenandoah National Park is extremely popular. On the other side of White Oak Canyon is Old Rag Mountain, the most visited destination in Shenandoah National Park. I hiked Old Rag Mountain via Berry Hollow Trail last year with Billy McDaniel. You can watch that video by clicking the tab in the right hand corner of your screen now, and I'll also leave a link at the end of the video. I mentioned Old Rag Mountain because you can also access White Oak Falls Trail from Skyline Drive or the same location we accessed Old Rag Mountain from Berry Hollow. And you have to pay close attention because if you're surfing the internet for details about this hike, most sites give the same vague copy and pasted information, choosing to provide surface level information about the falls but not enough information about the trail. Simply stated, you can hike up the mountain then back down or hike down then back up. Either way, you're going to have to cough up some money unless you have a pass. Sadly, on this adventure, I didn't have time to hike the entire trail, and that was disappointing. So if you're making plans to hike White Oak Falls Trail, make sure you have enough time to do everything you want to do. Personally, I think it would have been much better to begin the hike at the bottom of White Oak Canyon and then hiking to Upper Falls and back down instead of beginning at the top from Skyline Drive. Now normally I don't cover physics on this channel, but in case you didn't know, if you walk a long way downhill, you're going to have to walk a long way uphill. You know, I'd love to hear from you if you've hiked White Oak Falls beginning at either end of the trail, so be sure to leave a comment. So it's literally the day before Father's Day. So yes, this very famous trail just off Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park, it's crowded. The parking lot for this trailhead, very crowded. You know, I was, I've talked to several people along the trailhead. I walked with this guy, his name was uh, David, great guy, uh, very positive person, enjoyed being in his company for, I don't know, 35 minutes, had great conversation, and that's going on all along the trail. You know, as far as the difficulty, yeah, it, it's pretty tough, especially when I'm going to be on my way back. It's going to be very difficult, and I'm not looking forward to that part because this is like my first official hike for the year, so I'm already smoked, and it's going to take me two hours to get back to the top. Nevertheless, there's a lot of people out here today, so a lot of families. So this is definitely a trail that's worth your time. Like I said, it's very famous. It's across from Skyland Lodge, which is also a very place here in Shenandoah National Park just off Skyline Drive. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the like and subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment. My name is Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life. Hey, if you like this video, you'll like one of these videos too.